Hi. Let's see. Uh, in continuation with previous uh, data transfer instruction set. So let's see how to work with uh, data transfer instruction set and how to check memory locations uh, by writing some sample programs. So you need one uh, development tool. So let's I am going to use Keel Microvision to check the programs. Uh, for that you need to follow the steps like just select project tab and choose the option new project and you have to save your programs with a specific folder so my folder name is ASM so let's save the file name data transfer and click on save button this is the target folder you are going to save the programs now so you have to choose the target device so these are all the support different manufacturers for your all microcontroller families so you can pick any device from this list and choose atmel and click on plus symbol so which will show all the devices from this manufacturer and choose a specific target device which is 8089C51 and click on OK. Now this is a startup code file so you can click on yes or no there is no problem. And now go file tab and choose the option new. So here you can write all your file instructions in assembly language so but before writing program just try to save this file for that go file tab and choose the option save so give a file name like so you can give any name for this I'm giving file name as same as project data transfer but here give the extension dot asm so in which language you are writing program just consider it now our language is assembly so give the program extension as dot asm and click on save button and now you can write your instructions and now i just want to verify so all the registers use in your CPU so I just want uh, see the random values move A with constant value 25H and move B comma some constant value and always constant value follows hash symbol and other general purpose registers are 0 first register is R0 and next R2, R1 so all this uh, you can assign any random with these registers so check whether you are giving decimal value or hexadecimal value so this hexadecimal value follows always extension H and even if you are saving the values in decimal form so it will take internally in hexadecimal form so these are just random value random values I am giving to check whether these values which are saving in these registers or not so I have general purpose registers from R0 to R7 so give this values and end is the directive to terminate assembly language program so give the assembly language directive end now this is a sample program so I just want to check the values which are moved into registers or not and to compile this program just choose target 1 from project workspace window and click on plus symbol and choose source group 1 
and just right click it and choose the option add files to source group 1 and now so this is it will show the default path as C source file you have to choose the file extension ASM now my file name is data transfer and click on add and close once you add this file you will get plus mark with the source group next close and just extract this plus you can confirm whether the file is added or not and then so you want to verify the program errors and warnings you can go project tab and choose the option build target so it will choose the errors and warnings in the program like if you have any syntax fails like suppose I am not giving any comma between two operands just I apply it space and if you do any modification this is the shortcut save button and this is the shortcut build button see I just find the syntax error with the second line it will show the error line and as well as error description and now you have to place comma and then if you are placing if you are attempting any edit operation in your program go save and then build now so now my program I don't have any errors and warnings with the program I just want to check this results or output of this program so you have to enter into debug mode so this debug session you have to open just by click on this debug tab and choose the option start or stop and generally you will find one warning with evolution modes I have license for this so I didn't get any warning here and even if you get any warning with this your supported modes just click on ok there is no problem then now so you, are, you want to execute this program step by step press F11 now so by default if you check all these registers so they have zero default values but by executing this program step by step you can find out the results now the previous value of default b register value is 0 but by executing this line it will get 45 and then now your r0 register will get 55 next r1 will get 34 r2 will get 11 r2 r3 will get 67 and r4 register will get 77 and r5 78 h and R6 31H and R7 52H and so this is a way you can test your results by moving the values into registers so this is about the data transfer instructions so whenever you are looking to move any constant value into registers you can move and you can check your results by entering into debug session and then you want to stop this debug session go debug tab and choose the option start or stop debug session and next I just want to do some other operations with the data transfer instruction set like exchanging the values between two registers you will see the next program how to exchange the values so from your data transfer so it is not possible to exchange by once you know the logical operations you can do, do those things but now so this data transfer instruction set allows to save a constant value into any register or any address location then how to deal with this address locations with programming then so you want to write next program go file tab and choose new then again you have to save this file with dot asm extension for that go file tab and choose option save this program name is from registers to address locations so how can you move the register values into specified ram memory locations 
now i'll save this program register dot asm so always you have to save your programs with dot asm extension and just remove this you want to compile the existence program go source group 1 and right click it and it will ask the option remove file and then click on s and you are looking to write the new program so write down your program i am just moving the values a with 45h and b with some other value i just want to copy these two register values into address memory space which is 20h and move 21h comma b and end so this is a, these are the simple two instructions you can move the two register values into two address memory locations which are 20h and 21h and the same procedure how to compile this program choose source group 1 and right click it and select the option add files to source group 1 and a default program file is c but you have to choose asm source file and program name is register and select it and click on add symbol and close now i got this file here and you want to compile this program go project tab and build target so i don't have any errors and warnings and which program you are compiling so this line will represent you yeah. now i want to cross check this values which are moved into memory or not so for that go debug tab and choose the option start or stop debug session so this memory window you can find out from view tab view and click on this memory window option so you will get this memory window so now so as per my program the two constant values which are present in a and b and these values i just want to move to ram memory locations 20h to 21h and how to check this ram locations to check ram memory follow the letter d d stands for data memory followed by colon and just type the address which memory location you are looking to check 20h but the default value for these locations is 00 but after compiling or after debugging this program i'll get this 20h with a register value and 21h with b register value and click the cursor in program and press f11 to execute program step by step after executing first line so i got 45 into a register and 67 into b register and then so now i got this 45 into 20h memory location that to ram r a m ram and this 67 into 21h memory location so this is a way you can share your data between registers and memory locations so this is a way you can check your applications whenever you are moving data from register to location register locations to registers you can follow those syntaxes to exchange data thanks for watching